So, helping verbs. What's up with helping verbs? What are helping verbs and how do we use them? You might have found this to be true in your own life, but sometimes you can't do things alone. Sometimes you need a buddy, you need a helper, you need a friend that can help you accomplish things. We work better together, don't we? Sure, sometimes we don't get along and sometimes we don't work well together, but still, we need helpers. And, you know, we could be there for each other. We don't just do things alone by ourselves. You don't say much, do you, Bob? Hey, did you know verbs can be like that too? Yeah, pretty weird, huh? You see, sometimes a verb can express an action or a state all by itself. Yay! All by itself. Here's the certificate. Yay! Good job, me. Pat on my back. You know, sometimes you can do something by yourself, and sometimes a verb can do something all by itself. And that's fun, that's good, but that's not always the case. Now and then, verbs need a buddy that helps them express an action or a state. Okay, They need a buddy, they need a helper, and we call those helping verbs. We're going to learn what those are and how we use those in sentences. But what's important for you to get right now is that helping verbs help a main verb express an action or a state. They are literally helpers. They're buddies, and that's why we call them helping verbs. Okay, let's give you an example. Here is a picture of a park, and let's say this is our sentence. The park has opened. The park has opened. Now we know that opened is the main verb because it tells us the action that's happening with the park. But notice there's another verb there that comes just before it that helps it state the action. The park has opened. The word has is the helping verb. The word has, the helping verb, is helping open, which is the main verb, express the action. All right, now we're going to share an interesting fact with you. The helping verb is always just before the main verb. So it's really easy to spot which verb is the helping verb. It always comes before. Let's look at our example again. The park has opened. Remember, has is the helping verb, and it's just before opened, which is the main verb. The helping verb comes first and helps out the main verb. So it's helping verb and then the main verb. Really easy. Here's another example. Here's a picture of a man playing soccer. And let's say this is our sentence. He will kick the ball. He will kick the ball. Well, we know that kick is the main verb because kick expresses the action. He will kick the ball. But notice there's another verb just before the word kick that helps it state the action. What's that word? Yeah, will. Will is the helping verb. Will helps the word kick express the action. And notice again, the helping verb always comes before the main verb. Let's try this one. Here's a picture of a woman and a girl laughing. Let's say this is our sentence. They are laughing. They are laughing. Now we know that the word laughing is the main verb because that's what's expressing the action. They are laughing. But notice there's another verb just before the word laughing that helps express that action. That's helping the word laughing. What is that word? What's that helping verb? Yeah, the word are. Are is the helping verb verb because R helps the word laughing express the action. R is the helping verb. Alright, let's try this one. 
The seagull is flying. Look at this picture of the seagull. The seagull is flying. Okay, you tell us what is the main verb. Which word is the main verb? Yeah, flying. Flying is the main verb because it tells us the action. But notice there's another verb just before it that helps it state the action. What's the helping verb in this sentence? Yeah, the word is. Is is the helping verb because the word is helps the word flying express the action. Is is the helping verb. <laughs> You're getting the hang of this. Here's the last example. I am driving. I am driving. Okay, so what's the main verb? Uh-huh, driving. Yeah, driving is the main verb because it tells us the action, but notice, just like the other ones, there's another verb that's helping out. What's the helping verb? Uh-huh, the word am. Yeah, the word am is the helping verb. Great job. And notice again, the helping verb always comes before the main verb. To review, helping verbs help a main verb express an action or a state. Oh, and don't forget, the helping verb is always just before the main verb, so they're always easy to spot. Okay, Bob, that's what helping verbs are. Oh my goodness, they're like the buddies of main verbs. Helping verbs, we use them all the time. They're exciting, they're fun, they're easy to spot. You're still not saying anything, are you, Bob? Nothing, just not... You just don't like to talk. That's okay. Because you know what? We still had fun learning. <laughs>